Now this is Serenity Leisure's video for this 2008 58 Rapido 986M arrived with us March 2022. Uh, now we've had these before, uh, the Rapido A classes, they are a gorgeous motorhome and this particular one has excellent specification um, and is just lovely regarding condition. Um, this is older than we would normally go but uh, regarding retailing motorhomes but it's such a nice one and they're so expensive for a new version of this. Um, this is running on the Mercedes, uh, it's an automatic, Mercedes Sprinter automatic, uh, and like I said, specification is very high on it. It's a one owner from new, uh, it has a very extensive service history, um, it's very shiny uh, because we've had the whole thing mopped and polished, um, and it's quite a stri this quite striking campus to say the least. It has a relatively new set of tyres on it. Uh, and if I can find any markings to the exterior, I will point it out. But I've been over this with a fine tooth comb and there really isn't anything on the outside that I can tell you that's detrimental to it. Other than maybe the Fiamma grab handle, you see the plastic is coming off there a little bit. That's not an integrated part of the motorhome. You can get covers for those if you want. Uh, back end, much the same as the rest of the camper. The reversing camera up top. Light lenses are all intact, not split, broken. They're nice. Mirror covers are all good. A little bit of paint flaking off on those. The aluminium, it oxidizes. You see that? Uh, lights are nice, bonnet nice and shiny. Windscreen doesn't have any cracks or um, uh, any cracks, star cracks or anything in it. I just noticed that windscreen wiper hanging down there. So we will be putting some new ones on this motorhome. It's got no less than three. Uh, and down this side, much the same to be fair regarding condition. Uh, really nice, one of my favorite A-classes, this layout in the Rapido range for this era. Um, beautifully made, without question. Uh, that's a nice big locker that comes out on the side there. Uh, fill it up with water on this side. Uh, and then you've got a decent size garage here. Now, one of the most expensive options on this camper is the EFOI system here. So that does away with the requirement for solar. Uh, I won't bother telling you too much about it now, other than it is about a three and a half to four grand option, depending where you have it fitted. But it's a power source, okay? It just does away with solar panels altogether. You don't need them, because that, in effect, is what keeps your leisure batteries charged. It's a, it's a new system. Uh, this was installed not long ago on this motorhome. Um, yeah, it's very nice. I mean, it's not, you know, as new. You wouldn't expect it to be, but it is one that has been loved and unusual to find one that is one owner for this year. Right, internals. Let's get the light on in here. Oh. Oh, that'd be the water pump, not the lights. Okay, so as mentioned, uh, Mercedes, automatic. It's got cruise control. It's got cab air conditioning. Uh, it's got, uh, what else it's got? As I said, you can see the sort of twin swivel seats. Cream leather, that was an expensive option when it was new. The leather is lovely on it. Really nice. These are extremely comfortable chairs. You drop down bed, I can't. You'd have seen photographs of that, but I can't put it down because I've only got one hand free. It needs two. Uh, multimedia system here, which is good. Uh, and then looking back around the camper, you can get an indication as to how the interior is laid out. Now this is a leaf table, which uh, moves around if you want it to, or it just folds over like so. That doesn't have any indentations where something's fallen against it. Look at the condition of that leather. not dirty it's not cracked it's just exceptional I was very pleased when I picked this motorhome up uh, to uh, to see a regarding condition to the interior because that's obviously very important uh, utilities uh, are all photographed individually but you can see the kitchen is in really nice condition it's got an extractor fan up here bar very important uh, large Dometic fridge freezer that's nice inside, you'd have seen pictures of that. 
and then your uh, fixed French bed to the side here. Mattress is virtually unmarked. So LED lights, as opposed to the G4 halogens. Uh, this door, this this part here, you can do it. You can just unclip it, and you can slide this across to give you privacy in the bedroom. And then you've got. I'll try and do it with one hand. There we go. You can't see a lot. Let's just. Uh, no, you can't see a lot in there because it's a bit dark. But um, that's obviously access to the garage from the top. Oh, all the wood's nice. I mean, these are solid wood cabinets. They're beautifully made. Really nice. The um, bathroom to the side here, electric C250 flush toilet. That swivels round out the way. Rapido's trademark stainless steel sink and a separate shower with a duckboard. And a bifold door. The bathroom again is spotless, absolutely spotless. It just has an expensive feel about it. Well, as I said, even back in the day, these were an expensive motorhome. Uh, there's a oh, big wardrobe here, and then this was an option. Believe it or not, German motorhomes aren't big on ovens, I can tell you. So this was an option. That is brand new. It has never, ever been used. Okay? Ever. I don't think it's ever even been lit, let alone been used. Carpets are spotless all the way through. So yeah, automatic. E foy leather. Um, these are all obviously quite expensive options when this motorhome was new, and that this has got them all. I don't think you'd probably find a better condition 986M on the market currently available today than this one. Okay, that uh, completes Serenity Leisure's video for this uh, 2008 986M.